Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on Pitbull motorcycle stands. First, let me say this is the only brand of stand that we sell in our shop, and the reason is they're the best, period. They're the best made, the best design, they last forever. Every one of us here uses these. The set that I have, they got to be about 10 years old at this point completely used and abused, right? I had to grab new ones for the video because mine are just there. I mean, they've been thrown around a trailer a million times, hauled all over the country. They don't look as good as a new one, so here we go. American made, all the, all the components that go into this, also sourced from the United States. That's something that the owner of Pitbull, Charlie, is very passionate about. The quality and, and workmanship of this thing is just amazing. Jeff, if you want to zoom in, and just kind of show some of the welds, the finish, the anodizing. It's incredible. I mean, the gauge of the tubing, too, I mean, look, I can't even flex this thing, right? I think you could probably, let's say you're on the way to the racetrack, and you get a flat tire on your trailer and you forgot your jack, you could probably go inside your trailer, grab one of your pit bull stands, and jack your trailer up with it and be just fine. Okay, I didn't really mean that. Disclaimer, don't really do it. But nevertheless, they are that heavy duty absolute best of the best. Now let's go on focus on this model that I have in my hand right here. This is the Super Sport Rear. This is either spool capable or non-spool capable. This is one of the most popular choices in the catalog. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up for the motorcycle I have behind me. This is a Yamaha R6. This is one of my bikes. I'm going to show you how I would set this up to use with spools and without spools. So here we go. We're going to start off no spool, standard lift. Okay, you'll notice that I have both of the top supports loose. And there's a reason behind that. Nick's going to hold the front of the bike for me for a minute. I'm going to come back here with both of these supports loose, okay, and I'm going to line them up with the swing arm on the motorcycle. What you want to try and do is you want to try and get it so that basically the gap between the support and the bolt head is pretty similar on both sides. Okay, so take a minute, like I said, have a friend hold the motorcycle so you don't end up dropping it and try and line these up while they're good and loose. And I'd say that's pretty close right there. Go ahead now and grab the wrench. Snug them up. ready to lift. Back down. Back up. One thing I do want to point out, the, the standard method of lifting the motorcycle, it works well, but the most secure is without a question the spooled method. When you're going to lift it using the standard method, you need to be really careful where you position this on your swing arm. If you position the lifting points too far forward on the swing arm, just by design, the angle here, okay, it's going to allow this to slide forward. Now the motorcycle could fall, okay? When you do it with the spools, it's locked into place and it cannot and will not go anywhere, okay? Nick, please hold the motorcycle again and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some spools on this bike. And then we'll flip the stand around, and I'll show you how to set it up in that direction. Pitbull off, offers spools as well. Okay, these are the, the black Delrin spools. It's the only ones that we sell here from Pitbull. We choose not to offer the metal ones. We think the plastic ones offer a better value, and they perform better in the event of a crash. Okay, we sell Pitbull model. I think we sell Woodcraft. They're a little bit bigger, more like a kind of a larger frame slider design. Does that pretty much sum it up, I think, for spools for us? So let's go ahead and grab these out of the package. The key to this, the key to spool installation is this. This is blue Loctite, okay? This is kind of a medium Loctite. If you do not use thread locker on this, you can rest assured your spools will come loose. They will vibrate out on the racetrack or on the road. And then when you go to lift your motorcycle, happy you bought the SS1. <laughs> exactly. 
Notice just a little dot of the blue Loctite here on the end of the threads. Okay, kind of let it work around the threads. This Yamaha takes a six millimeter spool. Let's go ahead and thread them in there using the T-handle. When you use the thread locker, once it sets in place, it will not vibrate out, okay? Give it a reasonable amount of torque. That feels pretty good right there. We're going to go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. And like Nick said too, you know, if in fact you do happen to lose a spool, you know, you're at a track day, you're at a race meet, you happen to lose a spool or you're out on track, that's what makes the, the SS stand a, a nice choice. If you come in and you don't have another spool, all you have to do is flip the tops on your stand over and you can still go ahead and lift your motorcycle. That being said, I will admit that myself, I own two spool rear stands. I just prefer it that way. I have to admit, too, I've lost a spool on the racetrack at least twice. Okay, now what we're going to do, set this up for spools. Okay, we're going to go ahead and loosen the bolts up for the supports. And then we're going to go turn the tops over. One of the things I'd like to point out is the proper direction to install the top, okay? You'll note here, one point is higher than the other. The highest point needs to go towards the motorcycle or away from the handle of the stand. We're going to go ahead and start the bolt again. Remember, do not tighten it up all the way. You need to be able to slide this back and forth easily so we can get this adjusted to the right width. And once again, have somebody hold the motorcycle. You know, don't try and hold it with one hand and get the stand set up. Come on back. This is even a little bit easier than it is setting it up for standard lifting. Okay? Let's try and get the gap set up so it's going to be about the same. Equal on both sides. Just a little pressure on it. Snug it up. And there you go. And you can see when it's lifted in this manner, Jeff kind of tighten up a bit. The motorcycle is very stable, okay? It's stable to the point where you can climb on it and without worry, you know, sit on the bike and move it around a bit. There you have it. There are the two most popular stand options with the Pitbull motorcycle stand.